Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have our very special guest today. It's Ron Beckenfield. He is a CEO and the founder of Superior Source Vitamins, and he's here today to talk about a couple of very important topics that he wants to share with everybody. One thing we have to realize is that ageism and longevity and how healthy eating and healthy living and a holistic approach to life can actually improve your health and your longevity. And also to talk about some other issues along the way that can help you and your with your daily life and help you with live a happy, healthy, and productive life. So, Ron, tell everybody a little about yourself, what you do, and how you got started with all this, because it's an amazing story. Well, I'll be 80 years old in August the 25th. Uh, it really started from my mom, who's very interesting. I'm a, a, a first-generation Hungarian. My parents came, are immigrants. And uh, she always believed in healthy living, especially coming from uh, uh, the European where they didn't have all the processed foods and right. so on and so forth. So that kind of like carried on the way we were growing up, me and my sister and my father. And always, uh, you know, she made a lot of scratch foods. And in those days when we were young, they didn't have so much packaged stuff around. Right. It was a little different. And then she made us kids take vitamins at a very, I was taking food supplements probably at 11 years old there wasn't many places to buy them or health food stores and i had that kind of upbringing that way now i've always in, always interested in the sport and health and so on and so forth and that just basically from there my life kind of evolved around that and i, I really enjoy it uh the, the challenge of uh taking care of yourself and uh, 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 you might call it a training or working out. It's always been a, I've been training and working out since I'm eight years old when it wasn't so popular. Mm -hmm. And I'm very motivated, even uh, at 80, basically eight years old as I've ever been right now. And then I started my c company in 1969 out of the trunk of my car. In those days, uh, there wasn't a lot of vitamin companies around. So I go to a small lab and have some stuff. I was selling mainly the bodybuilders. I was selling liver tablets and some protein powders, which were horrible in those days. They used cyclamate in it. That was a sweetener and that got banned. Mm. And uh, I would just have a, 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 a few products and I would put my own brand and I would go out of the trunk of my car. And there wasn't a lot of health food stores. There's some health food stores and some gyms and uh, some drug stores. And I just went selling you know, I'd go out and make the sales, come back and uh, uh, get the product ready for shipping in the, in the evening. Then I'd get up and uh, go to I'd go to the gym at five in the morning. I was there at five always and then work out till about seven, basically, which is, I think was now was too much. Right. And come home, eat my breakfast and just go about my business. And the company just kept on, you know, I started that. I went to the, my, 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 uh, to my trunk that I was using the trunk of my car. People used to tease me, you know. I think it's amazing. I think, you know, what you've done is, is, is truly amazing. And for, for people who are, 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 you know, you look great for your age, first of all, yeah, you look amazing. You don't look your age at all. And, you know, what, <laughs> what is your secret? What, you know, what do you do that you think made a huge impact on your health and helped you get to this point in life where you look so great for your age. You feel great. Your energy level is, is is really high. You have great stamina. You know, what are some of the things that you do in your life that you feel has made a huge impact on your health? I think the most real important to start as a foundation is the discipline of starting to take care of yourself. Hey, there's 24 hours in a day. You're going to work eight hours a day. You're going to sleep eight. And it, le and it leaves you eight hours. How can effective can you be at that, and if you, you, should, you should, and just for a peace of mind and be enjoy your life, I think you need to put a little time into yourself. Yes. Uh, whether it's any any form of exercise, as long as you're moving, and now these days with the great food and choices, I, I mean, you, you can't go wrong. Right. The knowledge, like people like you, giving us knowledge out there, uh, you just can't miss. Just you got to stay the course and, and be a little disciplined and don't get lazy. I think sometimes people get confused because the food industry can be very tricky with their labeling. 
And you see a lot of labels that say healthy food, healthy this, healthy that. And, you know, you look in the back of the of the food and it's really a processed food is what it is. And, you know, but people, you know, because they see the word healthy and they see that, you know, it's going to help them lose weight or it has nutrients or it's going to do this, you know, uh, they immediately think it's good for them. You know, what's your your eating habits? Like, what do you when you focus on when it comes to buying food before, when you're in before, the market? Before I go there, the most important thing, another thing besides just if you want to eat healthy, start taking care of yourself. Learn how to read labels. Yes. A lot of people don't know how to read labels, serving size, so on and so forth. First thing I, I look at is right up. The first thing I look at when I look at a label is a serving size and sugar. First thing I look at is that sugar right off the bat. That yeah. kind of, when there's a lot of sugar, kind of, that, that goes to the trash can, that type of stuff. I'm not interested in. So reading labels is very, very important. And it's almost impossible in this society to uh, not buy some kind of packaged good. There's a lot of good packaged goods around, but you have to learn how to read labels and don't be fooled. Right. It's very important. That, that'll that show you what you're going. And then back to uh, the regular foods. Um, if you start learning how to read labels, then, you know, you don't have to count every calorie, but it's still calories in and calories out. Mm -hmm. And if you eat fresh food, you pretty much can eat all you want. Right. Greens, a pound of greens, a hundred calories. I like to see you eat a pound of greens every day. <laughs> it, it just, those type of things, uh, have a balanced diet and you do everybody's with a no carbohydrate routine. You need carbohydrates. Yes. Where are they going to come from and not, and, and they'd be proportionally and just eat fresh food. Like this morning I had breakfast. I had six egg whites. I had some fresh fruit, a little cantaloupe, and I had some raspberries and I had a little bit of potato and then uh, with some herb tea, then I took some supplements. Then uh, maybe three hours later, I'll have a protein drink. And there's so many good proteins. If you want to go the vegan, uh, they're wonderful, wonderful things. With very, they're very low calorie. Most protein drinks per servings are around 150 or 200 calories at the most. Some right. are 100 when you go into the uh, uh, vegan type things, the pea proteins. I use them as a meal. I count them as a meal. And they're to me, they're very, very, very filling. Yeah. So maybe three hours later, I'll have another drink, two and a half hours, and my body gets accustomed to all this. But about that time comes two and a half, three hours, I'm hungry. Right. Then I'll have that. And then generally, uh, uh, three or four hours later, I'll have a lunch, which would be consistent of, uh, might be some salad uh, or some, I, I like the hummus, I eat the baba kanoush, very low calorie, very, right. very healthy. I, 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 lot of, I eat a lot of cottage cheese, believe it or not. Mm-hmm. People poo poo on the milk product, but milk's good, you know. Yeah. Uh, that I have. Uh, you uh, you can even get these wonderful cheeses if you want to uh, cut the fat out. There's a lot of that around. Right. So much good food around back to was 20 years, 30, 50 years ago. They didn't even have nutrition labeling. They didn't even break it down. Right. Exactly. I eat, believe it or not, I eat a lot of uh, uh, the nuts for then. I might have another protein drink, dinner. Uh, I'm not afraid of the carbs. I'll have some pasta. Right. Some fish, swordfish, salmon, uh, stuff like that. Uh, fresh vegetables. I don't drink any fruit juice at all of any kind because it's condensed sugar. Yeah. Any, I'll eat as whole. That, that, that's a great tip to your listeners because, I mean, a, a glass of orange juice is just loaded. Oh, and yeah. I just, I'd rather eat the whole orange and get the fiber and get everything. Yes. Pretty much that night. Change the foods around a lot. But it's uh, sometime for breakfast, I'll only have the, uh, some uh, yogurt with some nuts and fruit. Mm -hmm. I get tired of the, the eggs. Right. And, but I'm always, the protein drinks are a real staple for me. Yeah. If in Because I get hungry in between meals. And another tip is really works after dinner. If you generally are hungry sometimes and you're full, I think everybody gets that feeling. Yeah. You know, it's either a fat craving or a sugar craving. Right. And I'll take a handful of good nuts that are not salted or uh, uh, any other stuff in them. I'll eat that a hand, and that sometimes will do get that craving away. Yeah. And it's not a lot of calories, and it's a uh, it's like a, a late snack. So sometimes I end up eating a uh, five or six meals a day. Right. And another thing you talk about, people don't like to talk about, it, is your uh, bowel movements. Very, very important. If you're eating good, you will have several a day. 
Right. But I notice a difference if I kind of have a cheat day, which I don't do very often. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't feel so great. Right. And you, you know, you in uh, sometime once in a while, I'll have a, this uh, a dark chocolate with it. It's at seventy two percent cocoa. Yes. A little more healthier chocolate. Mm hmm. And uh, not no alcohol. Uh, you know, I have a glass of wine once a week, maybe. But a nice steady, just a steady. Uh, I like that routine. Yes. It works for me real well, and I think it would work for a lot of people. Just. I know everybody's busy, especially being a mom with the children and here and there and running this soccer and you know and it's endless. Yeah, you know, making the dinners and so on and so on. But you could just give yourself some time to yourself every day. I think the best time to just knock it out first thing in the morning, so you're not saying you kind of got it in the back of your mind, you know. And if you don't do it, you kind of feel bad about yourself. Right. You miss it and knock out what you got to do early in the morning. So you get up a half hour early. It's not the end of the world. Right. I think one of the biggest mistakes too, is that people go to like, um, they go to uh, delis where they have fresh food already made. But then if you ever look at the back of the ingredients, there's so much, there's so many th things that they're putting in the food to make it taste good that the right. calorie um, calories are, are maybe not too bad, but the fat intake is, is huge. You know, like I went and I saw Brussels sprouts and I looked in the back and the back had almost 30 grams of fat because of all the olive oil and all the all the other ingredients and they put butter and all this other stuff. But if you weren't looking at the ingredients, you would just look at the Brussels sprouts and say, oh, Brussels sprouts. I like Brussels sprouts. And then you would buy it. But then if you look in the back, you know, it, some of the a lot of these foods have really high fat and, and calorie content. And sometimes it's just better, you know, get in a nice, easy cookbook and just learn how to make your own or even going on Pinterest. I have friends that, you know, they get such great healthy recipes off of Pinterest. And, you know, but a lot of times people buy food and they think it's because it's fresh and they think it's going to be healthy, but it's really what are they putting in there? Just like if you buy, if you eat a salad, a lot of people they they gorge salad dressing on it. Well, that defeats the purpose, you know? Correct. You have to be really careful with that, I think. What do you think? Well, I agree. It's just like if you went and bought a car, you're going to look at all the little extra stuff you're going to pay for. You're paying yeah. for that extra stuff. Or back to what you're saying, a lot of that stuff is just to give them shelf life. Yeah. And they use a lot of that for shelf life. So eating fresh is is, is, is good. But there, I think if I'm not wrong, there's companies now that, I mean, if you're really extremely busy, you can get fresh food. Ready, yes, I see that. Pre, pre ready to go. All you got to do is heat it up or do whatever you got to do. But there's so many choices. It's unbelievable. I mean, it was never there. Right. You really don't have to slave over a, 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 a in the kitchen. Yeah, for sure. You just got to watch, you, you know, buyer beware. I mean, or going exactly. back to our, your health care with your, hey, you get, you go to you get your car oil changed, what, a few times a year? You mean you can't get your teeth cleaned a few times a year? I mean, it's a lousy car. It has no feelings or nothing to it. I mean, it, it you know, it's just something. Yeah. You know, I, you know, when you talk about um, uh, um, when you have to take care of your mouth and your teeth and, and, oh, yeah. and good hygiene, you know, there, I've known people that have actually had, you know, come down with illnesses and ended up very, very sick because of their um, hygiene. You know, they had infections and they waited too long. The infections got worse. And I know, you know, at least two people that had a heart attack because of their hygiene, because they had mouth infections that weren't addressed right away. And sometimes you might feel something in your mouth or something might not look right, or you might be chewing and it's not aligned right, but you don't, you wait to go to the dentist. And, you know, sometimes it has to do with healthcare and, and the cost of, you know, but it's worth it. It's, you know, at least to get- for You the, put the maintenance the in your car, Stace. You put the maintenance in your car more than you do yourself. Exactly. Very true. I mean, that is know, so true. So I mean, true. Come on, man. Exactly. I mean, it's in life, whatever you put in, you'll get the way you make your beds, the way you're going to sleep in it. Exactly. And, and it's just, funny you say that because I've known so many people that will spend more money in a restaurant or in their car and other useless things. And when it comes to their own health, they neglect themselves. So it's true. Nothing feels better to, when you're in, in feeling good about yourself. To, just like when you go shopping, you buy a new dress or new clothes. It really feels pretty cool. Yeah. 
get excited. You got to have that feeling about yourself all the time. When you put energy into yourself, uh, there's no negativity there and you'll right. feel good about yourself all the time. Yes. I think it's really important. It's, it has nothing to do with money. It's something you can do for yourself. It's nothing you can really buy. Yes. And it's, a, it's to me, it's, it's worth everything. A hundred percent. To me, because I've been just, just been doing it for so long and that, that's what makes me tick. And uh, I don't think everybody could have that sh as much discipline as me, but there's enough where there's a, uh, you can walk a fine line and still be real, do everything and get everything done. Wake up a half hour early. Right. That's a big deal. You know, it if you get up at deal. six, get up at five. I get up at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. I got up this morning at around four. I did uh, some cardio. I did some stretching about an hour. Wow. And I, I me, because I do, do have the time. I, I actually work out twice a day. That's great. I work. And then, then I'll, uh, I'll go to work. I'm still working at my business and That's I'll come amazing. home and then I'll, I'll do a workout or I'll go over to the gym in, in, in Santa Monica there and do what I got to do. But I, I enjoy it. Yes. I do it because I, ha I actually like it. Mm -hmm. I, I get, a, I get a, a high from it. I don't know what yeah. you want to call it. It's a, it's a high. Right. It's it's it makes it makes that's it makes me go and I and it's been working for for me uh basically seventy years. I think it's great because like one of the things you mentioned you know that you exercise and you mentioned that you drink a lot of water earlier because back in the day you, they, they people didn't drink water when they exercised you had mentioned but you know now water is very important but I still think a lot of society doesn't drink enough of water and I, that's one of the reasons when you mentioned about constipation and other stuff you know you know people don't put enough of water in their body a lot of people lack you know hydration. And it's very important to have to to drink a lot of water. How much water, by the way, do you drink? I drink as I as I feel like it, but I'm drinking to keep hydrated. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, just a, a routine, and uh, just put the energy and time in yourself. Nothing feels better. I mean, you can mask it. I find out as you get older, you, you, to make you feel better. If the females is buying clothes and handbags and jewelry, <laughs> and the men is cars. Yeah. And it's great, but it's not a substitute for the real deal. Really feeling good with inside and putting the energy in inside you. Yes, yes. You know, it just it just works for me. Yeah. I know a lot of it works for. It takes just a little bit of discipline, but it's not that difficult. But you know, we have a lot of people who are forty five and older who watch this show, and so many people want to look younger. They want to feel younger. They don't. You know, we're at a society where we, we want to have longevity. We want to live as long as possible. We want to feel good. People are, you know, um, really more uh, interested in, you know, trying to keep that youth, you know, and hold on to it as long as possible. And I think you've done a great job doing that. And uh, I, I like some of the ideas and some of the tips that you give. Like what supplements also do you apply? Because I know uh, as we get older, we kind of become deficient in the many vitamins and nutrients in our body and we have to replenish them. So what kind of, you know, at your age, what type of vitamins and, and uh, supplements do you incorporate besides the protein drinks? Are there other things that you incorporate? Well, to be honest with you, my dad, way back in the day, uh, he had prostate cancer. So I was afraid it's going to run in the family. So with yeah. my research, I found out, you know, uh, saw pimento, uh, uh, beta cytocysterol uh, mm -hmm. for the prostate. There have been some good tests. And I kind of go where I might have some genetic problems. And that, that's one of my, I, I work on that prostate. And thank goodness my PSA of all these years is still pretty low. Yeah. And uh, anything that you might have a hereditary problem, try to work on. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, but it doesn't hurt that you try to do your best. Exactly. And, and they're only supplements. Nothing beats the real deal, the good food. Yeah. I will, I, that along with, uh, I take the beetroot powder with apple cider vinegar. I love that. Yeah. If that I take, uh, uh, which it has the apple cider vinegar, which if you use that, suppose it keeps you to pH balance, which you really can't get sick. Right. 
I used I, I, actually I, I mix that with my matcha tea. Like I'll have matcha tea throughout the day, and I'll actually put a scoop of that in the matcha tea, and mm-hmm. it actually gives a nice flavor to it. Having both of them in the uh, the, the the matcha tea plus the beetroot gives a nice flavor. It's very pleasant, and I think what, what amazes me is I take this collagen. We, we put our product called Beauty Collagen. It, my nails, I mean, I years ago I maybe cut them twice a year. I got to cut them every week now. Yeah. I mean, I, I just can't believe how my nails and everything just grows from that. It's it's been incredible. It is, so you know. I me. I realized um, as I was getting a little bit older, you know, I started becoming middle age. I realized that when I got little cuts, it took forever for it to heal, and I I couldn't understand why. And so then I did a little research, and I found that a lot of times when we have cuts, so we bruise easily, it's because we have it's our collagen is low. And because our whole body is pretty much made of collagen, but as we get older, we we produce less of it. So when I started taking collagen, my my ability to heal wounds and also just I my nails, my skin, everything improved. And uh, so oh, I absolutely. take it every day. Yeah, we have a product we call keto uh, collagen, mm-hmm. and uh, it has ten grams of collagen. And I I I. Before I work out, if I, I generally only drink coffee before I, I I work out, and I put that in with the coffee. Oh wow! I like that idea. I and like it's that delicious. Idea. I mean, it's it's just it's a real treat, actually. I like your keto collagen. I tried it. I I like it very much. And Did you put uh, it in the coffee. I've never tried it in the coffee. No, that's I, the best. I've actually I'm a big tea drinker, so I would put it in my tea actually. And uh, I, but I, I've never tried it in coffee. I'm going to try that. I'm going to see what it tastes like. I like that idea. I feel it's so important. I think people yeah, don't. The only time really... I take caffeine is before I exercise, but I drink, a, I mix her up. I put a mixture of chamomile tea and green tea together. I drink that every morning. Oh, really? The chamomile doesn't the make you tired? Excuse me? The chamomile doesn't make you tired? No, no it kind of, I use it for just a, a, a relaxer for my uh, digestion and so Okay. So. A little green tea. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much on a daily basis. Okay. And I make sure another thing, I use lemon in there. Again, another thing will keep you at a pH balance using lemon. I'm giving you all the tricks of the trade here. I, I'm listening. I'm absorbing everything you're saying. I, I use lemon on uh, my tea always. Fresh squeezed lemon. Really? I like that yes. idea. Actually, my father's Greek. He does that also. I, maybe I should start doing Not that. Not from Lemons the bottle. Great. No. But fresh squeezed that. that. Yeah, that and, uh, back to my other thing. I take this lycopene again for my prostrate. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you have to be so careful because it's so prevalent in society, especially for men as they get older. You well, know? it's diet diet related, and it really is. It is like you go to countries like Japan where they eat a lot of uh, pickled foods or uh, what is it called? They, they preserve them, mm-hmm. and they tend to get more stomach cancers. Now, Mexico where they use a lot of tomatoes, which is loaded with lycopene, a lot of that type yes. of thing. They don't get the prostate cancer. So a lot of it's di- to diet related, a lot of stuff. If you keep putting enough poison in you, you're going to, you're going to get it, you know, Oh, for it's sure. going to come back and bite you. Yeah. Oh, for sure. There's I no agree. guarantee in life. Everybody's probably going to live about the same. And what is it? Your quality of life at 80 years old, you're going to be active, sexually active, still every way you can think of active. I think it's real important. Yes. You know, all these little things you, you, you took for granted now become very important as you get older. A hundred. You really do. You know, you, you, you're doing all this. And then as you get older, you know, you don't, you want to keep doing these things that make you happy, whatever they may be. Right. And if you're not healthy, you're not going to be happy. Exactly. Tell you, I'll tell you that right now for sure. It's so, it's so important to, to maintain good health because I, I notice a lot of people as they get older and they get medical problems and, and certain issues or they become chronically fatigued, they become depressed because they think back of what they used to be and they think, and they see themselves now and they become depressed, they become less active. And then they start wondering why they're getting joint pains and why, you know, they don't feel good. And it's because their lack of circulation, lack of movement, and it all is because they're focusing on what they used to be, but they should be focusing on the present and trying to make changes. And, you know, by changing your your way of holistic living, you know, and that means the way you eat, the way you sleep, the the vitamins and the nutrients that you incorporate into your body, the supplements you incorporate into your body, 
can change your whole life around. Absolutely. And, you know, I always made a promise to myself. I really don't want to spend my later years chasing around the doctors. I just, yeah, even I, get, I get a physical, I get my blood pulled. I get my blood checked a couple of times a year, but I just don't like going to those medical buildings and go through all. I just don't care for it. Yeah. I mean, I you know, I'd, rather, I'd rather put a little more time in to myself and maybe keep me from chasing around to the doctors. Mm hmm. And I just think uh, just a little bit of discipline and stay with it. It'll make you feel good too. And it gives you a purpose in life. Yeah. A lot of people, and you can't go wrong. There's no winners. There's no losers. There's only a winner if you take care of yourself. 100%. Not everybody's going to have a, a magnificent physique, but you still can be healthy. And it doesn't take a lot just to keep your eye on the ball a little bit. Like I exactly. mentioned, the exactly. labels, eat good, fresh food. You can eat all you want. And, and, you know, be moderate, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the booze and the, that type of thing. Yes. And I think people don't realize, too, a lot of these foods have dyes in them, which could lead to cancer. And that, you know, oh. trying to stay as fresh as possible is pr probably, I think, the best way, don't you think? Fresh food is much all you want. You can eat all you want of fresh food. And it, let me tell you, it's pretty hard to get even 2,000 calories to eat. Fresh. It's pretty rough. I'm on a, about 1,800 calories. Not, I'm eating, well, for instance, my breakfast is maybe 300. Right. I'm guessing I could be off 50 calories. Mm -hmm. My protein drinks 150. I have two of those. Another, some at 600 calories. I have three, 400 calories for uh, uh, lunch and maybe a bigger than uh, a dinner, five, 600. I'm still like, uh, under 2,000 calories and I've ate a lot of food. Yeah. And it's not, they're not condensed calories like you get these muffins. You know, you go over to one of these Starbucks type places. Like, Those things are like a thousand calories. I mean, you're finished. Yeah. I'm not saying you never could have one, but pick pick your poisons, you know. I mean, not every day. Exactly. Yeah, no, moderation. You know, the best health coaches will say you could have these type of foods every once in a while. But like you said, moderation, treat yourself every once in a blue moon. But it's something you can't do on a daily basis, yeah. on a frequent basis. Well, if you're eating good on a regular basis, and I hate to say, even if you had a cheat day, you still got, let's say you're eating uh, uh, five, five meals a day, six yeah. is 30 meals. So you go uh, 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 out of that, you take one cheat meal out of, out of 30. It's a very small percentage. Right. Even if you ate three cheat meals in a week, it's only 10%. Right. If you could keep it under that, I think you're doing good. Not good yeah. enough for me, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, if you think about how many meals, if you eat uh, four meals a day times uh, uh, seven days, yeah. one each day. Exactly. You know, so you still got a very low percentage of quality versus not quality. Now you go the other way, you know, you're pounding three or four bad meals a day down. It, you, you just, you know, and everybody gets wants to follow diets. That's all a bunch of bunk. <laughs> That's all a bunch of bunk. I mean, if you don't want to eat red meat, okay. There's a lot of great substitutes. You can eat a lot of uh, other things that will give you quality protein. And I think protein is extremely important as you get older. If things have changed. It used to be a half a gram per, per pound of body weight. Now it's up to over a gram. Yeah. And you do need fats. You do need carbohydrates. You feel you do need them. People, you know, no carb diet. That's all a bunch of bunk. Now, when when it comes to um, good eating habits, like what do you feel about meat and fish and chicken, all those types of foods? Do you incorporate that into your diet, or do you yes. stay away? I I, do, I don't eat much red meat, but what I do eat is uh, that uh, farm raised or grass fed. All, all all the eggs are that way now. You can get them in any supermarket. Another one's a real good one for me, and people don't eat it. Is uh, this buffalo bison? It's it's leaner than chicken. Yeah, I've heard about it. I have I eat though. that. I eat that quite often, and uh, that works. I eat the buffalo and, and chicken, fish, salmon, swordfish. I eat sardines, mm -hmm. canned tuna, and water. Uh, you be careful. You know, it's what you mix with that stuff. The mayonnaise and all that. You know, yeah. Get get the stuff. Keep that's where the calories, the the dressings. If you don't watch the dressing, do you get hammered with four hundred calories right there? Oh, for sure, hundred. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, all this. You don't know what hit you. But if you learn how to read labels from my beginning statement, that is really will teach get you a foundation of how to 
how what to eat, what not to eat. And, and, and it, like, say, so you don't need to really count your calories. If you really want to be a real stickler, really, you can. Yeah. Or weigh your food. It's too much hassle for me. Yeah, I feel like it's too much hassle too. Like I, I know people who do it. And for me, I, I just don't have the patience to do that. I just, uh, so I just try in my head, I, I'm looking at what I'm eating. I'm eating right. as healthy as I can. And I just, I, I I don't, you know, go crazy. If I buy something in the store, I look at the back of the labels before I buy it. But when it, I come home, I just try to have normal size portions. And you notice the healthier you eat, the smaller portions you need and you get full. And to eat slow, that's a big thing. People sometimes gobble their food down so quickly that they don't have time to digest. And then what happens is they're eating more than they actually really need. You know, if they just take right. a little time to eat, especially late at night when you're full, and then you, you, you that, that's when that's when the problems start. Yeah, you go for the sweets. Yeah, and so I mentioned just a little bit of a. I'll mention Trader Joe's. I got a great nut selection there. I get different ones. I mix them together. And, you know, I've been doing that for decades and decades. There's so many good places to get food. And years ago, it was so limited. All these supermarkets, they want to make a profit. They'll sell whatever. And if if, if, if clean food is the deal, that's what they'll sell. Right. Very true. And there's more and more of that coming around. And it, just so, like I said, I, I keep on going back to this discipline. It's everything. It is. You got to start off in the morning. You got to, I think, if, if you have, you know, you get busy and you get torn here, stuff always comes up. You have to drop this for something more important. Start first thing in the morning. Give yourself right. 30 minutes. Yeah. Do whatever you want to do. You want to go for a walk. You want to do some yoga some Pilates or use the, the bands now become very popular. So you don't have to go to a gym. You can do some resistance training. Right. And there's great people like you putting out information. It just never was available. And people should be lucky. There's people like you around mm -hmm. to, to do this and be helpful and be sincere. Right. And you start hanging around people with common, you know, commonality like we have. Yeah. And it becomes very nice. I go to, I like, I like the gym atmosphere myself personally. I've met lifelong friends there. Yeah. All got the same interest and they might only be, I only, only see them in my gym buddies are there, but it's still, I look forward to it. Yeah. It's also a great motivation when you see other people exercising around you and you're more apt to, to do it better because you're, you're, you get motivated when you see people around you doing it as well. Yeah. And you will get, everybody will get results. Not everybody's genetically is sound. Every now and then you get these, they're just genetically sound. Yeah. You know, yeah, they, sure. they got a, a leg up, but nothing beats a, a consistency. And, and you do just do the best you did. Everybody will, will get results. If exactly. they take care of themselves. And I would say dramatic results. Yes. It's not that hard. No, it's not. And if you had to actually take a couple of takeaways and 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 uh, emphasize on a couple of things that you feel are important that we discussed during this this whole conversation, what are some things you'd like to tell the listeners when it comes to really living a healthy life and being able to feel good in your middle age and older age? You know, what are some things you'd like to stress and and make people um, understand the importance? To be honest with you, people like you are is very good for this business it really makes me feel good that there's people like you around mm -hmm. and i won't do a, I, I won't do a podcast with just anybody i'm very choosy mm -hmm. and i only want to deal with people that have they're on the same path as i am and i, I like giving back life has been good to me i've done yeah. very well i have a great life and you know this is a, my give back my limited give back but we need people like you oh thank you very important i mean uh, i'm sure you get thank you letters <laughs> I can change my life or you got me going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I'm told I'm very inspirational to people. I get it. I mean, like on a daily basis. Yeah, you are. Yeah. And I, and I believe what I'm, I, I firmly believe in everything I'm saying. Well, it shows, you know, you're not well, talking it. You're walking the walk. And give you the arm shot there, hon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it makes you feel good. I mean, I, I like to look at, you know, I like to look in the mirror and I like to feel good about myself. I mean, who right. the hell does it? And it doesn't, it's not having to do with, you know, money or anything like that. Just feel good. And you can feel good for, for actually nothing. Right. Actually nothing. You got to buy food anyway. So you yeah. buy the right food. You, and, and if you exercise, don't really cost you anything. Right. And, it, you know, everybody got 24 hours in a day and time goes by and the years go by. Take it for me. They do. Yeah. 
and just take care of yourself and enjoy life you know i love it that's make awesome. sure you make sure you take superior source supplements <laughs> yes you know what you, you, i love your i've been using it for i don't i don't know how long i've known you and i i, I and and I, for for a very long time and i've used your your products i think over six or seven years now and i love it i love it because it it goes underneath the tongue and it just dissipates and you don't have to swallow any pills and that's one of the things i love about it and it and it works so effectively you know and and everything tastes good you have some flavored supplements also you know and right. it, it works it works really well and and uh and i like that because so many people have come up to me and say well i you know i don't like taking vitamins because i have to swallow the pills and you know and some people will take gummies but i'm not crazy about gummies because i don't feel they're potent enough i think sure. they're more potent you know when they're in a vitamin form or they go in right into the bloodstream if they're in liquid form or if they're like you have underneath the tongue it dissolves goes right into the body into the bloodstream and uh you know so uh, you know i think having having vitamins like yours which is unique because it goes underneath the tongue it dissipates and then it goes right into the bloodstream is really effective because I can't tell you how many people, including family members that don't want to take vitamins because of that. They say, I can't swallow pills or they had a bad experience one time swallowing a pill and they never want to swallow a pill again. Not only that, really, the besides that, the major thing is our product is we're one of the first companies that ever come out with what we call clean. Mm -hmm. Most tablets will have, uh, well, you, here's another tip when you read the liver. You're going to read what the potencies and how much this and how much that yes. go, go into other ingredients where you will see the chemicals. The yes. Steric acid, mm -hmm. silicon dioxide, sand. I mean, yes. I go on. And sometimes the inactives are more than the actives. Oh, yeah. When you got a, a nice size tablet, maybe weighs a half a gram and you got only and you got a, a quarter of a gram of actives. What mm -hmm. are the inactives? Right. And those are basically all chemical driven flowing agents and so on and so forth. We don't use any of that. Right. We use a tiny bit of lactose, which you don't swallow. And it, um, a, a little stevia now and then or a natural flavoring in a very, very small tablet goes right under your tongue. We call it microlingual. Yes. And uh, we're the only ones in the world that produce this type of product. Yeah. I've never there's seen no, them there's, anywhere There's else. no other company that does this but us in a vitamin form. I, I, I love it because you don't, you don't have to swallow anything and it goes right into your, into your body. And like you said too, like, I can't tell you how many times I've been in a store. I look at the back of the, the, bo the bottle on the ingredients, other was, ingredients. Yes. But at the very bottom after yep. the other ingredients. Yes. And then people don't realize too that the coating on the on on the outside, you know, it could be very cheap and it doesn't work well, or it could have like it could have ingredients that aren't good for the body. And some of these these tablets, they have um, they have coatings on the outside, and it runs right through the body. It doesn't even stay in the body that long because it's it, called a film coating. Most of them use it so you can swallow them easier. If it's just a straight compressed tablet, yeah, things a little rough, so use a film coating. Before they used to all art, they're getting better at it now. They're using it more of a natural material on the coatings, mm -hmm. but you're still getting a lot of chemicals and flowing agents to make the tablet. We don't yeah. use ours are, are molded tablets. They're not compressed under heat. Mm -hmm. So we don't use any of those ingredients. And even if you don't want to put it under your tongue, the tablet is so small. It's the size of a pea. Yeah. You can just swallow it either way. Very right. effective. And uh, we have about a hundred products like that. Yeah. And you know what makes me uh, amazed too is that sometimes I'll I'll look at the ba back of a, a vitamin bottle and let's say I wanted to get something with uh, biotin let's say and they they have so many different other things in the and in in the uh, in the bottle and the the least amount is the biotin you know it, it and well, absolutely you know that's and, really, absolutely that's begin reading tab biotin generally the going rate is about a thousand mics a thousand mics is one milligram and the right. Tablet weighs 250 milligrams. All that is other stuff. And a lot of times the, the inactives are more expensive than the actives. Yeah. The, the, all the, like I say, the flowing agents, the fillers and so on and so forth. Right. And we, we, we eliminate all, all those completely and everything's put in a, in a bottle and it goes into a nice box. It's all sealed up. We, every, all our raw materials come in and are tested for uh, heavy metals, we test three times during the process. 
We make everything in our own uh, plant. And you make sure you, and nothing goes out that door unless it's 100%. I love no that. Way. No way. And I've been doing this uh, close to 60 years. Well, I have to say that I, I I am a true testament. I I've been using your your vitamins for a very very long time. I stopped using a lot of different brands and I I focus on your brand because I I see the results. You can tell when you're using something good because you can see the results. You can feel the results. You know, and uh, and you want something that's pure and clean. You know, and you that's and right. and it makes a big difference. It makes a huge no GMOs, any of that stuff we have. And I also, I think it's great that your your prices are reasonable. They're not no, like- No, we're not a pricey mean, line. Most yeah. of our, as a retailer, $10, $12, $13. You know, you want to give value. Right. You know, there was like, uh, I, I picked up a, a bottle of pomegranate one time and it, the, the bottle was almost $100 because of the, the packaging that it did. They probably paid so much on the packaging that they had to up the price. But the only thing they had in there was pomegranate. How cheap not, is not, not so much that. Now- it, it, the cost, the business has changed so much that the cost of marketing and you got uh, it, those co the marketing costs through the uh, Amazon and those guys and uh, yeah. advertising and y y you have to have it to, to make it. Right. Unfortunately. Yeah. That's but I just like, the way it goes. I like that your prices are reasonable and your product is great. I oh, very. We have a lot of stuff. It's under not, 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Very reasonable. And, uh, and the qualities are always and easy to take. No big tablets, like you mentioned. And where can people find your vitamins? Besides Amazon and the usual internet sellers, Walmart, pretty much anywhere. We have an awful lot of retail, uh, uh, Sprouts, uh, 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 Vitamin Cottage, Vitamin Shop, uh, thousands of independent retailers. And where can we, you have a website also that people can go on to. Superiorsource.com. Okay. Well, this has been amazing. I love talking to you, Ron. I am, you are truly a mentor to me. You're the queen of health. We're going to change your name. <laughs> You're doing a service to mm. this world and this country. And I, I, I hope you really appreciate it because we need more people like you instead of all the bullshit artists out there. <laughs> Well, I think, I think you also are a mentor and I think, you know, I, I admire how great of a health you're in and, and that you take such good care of yourself and that, you know, you look great for your age. I hope I can look as good as you when I'm yeah, your hey, age. Who's my undertaker, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a sense of humor here. Oh, of course. And I of hope course. I can put a message with people who just listen and just take that little bit of time to take care of themselves and put some time into themselves for a peace of mind. Yeah as well in this crazy world we're in i think it's really important of course definitely 100 percent. yeah just take a breath and uh, just step back and give yourself a half hour of whatever meditation anything you want yes it's I'm very important it. it's very important and i always tell people 70 percent of illnesses are caused by stress so exercise meditation you know take a walk around the block anything at least that stress open up your eyes and enjoy life while you have it that's right and if you take care of yourself it makes things you can you, you can just do more stuff yeah i can Definitely. do pretty much anything i uh, that i did 50 years ago pretty much i believe it <laughs> pretty, much. pretty much well ron this has been wonderful i love talking to you and i can't wait till we talk again ron has a podcast on our channel and you can go and see all his videos, all his podcasts. And he's also on our YouTube channel. And uh, you could see him at The Advisor on YouTube. And I just love you, Ron. You are the best. I love you too. You're the best. I wish there was more like you around. And I wish there was more like you around. <laughs> <laughs> you have a great day, Ron. Same to you, darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.